Tonight, dozens of Jacksonville firefighters and family members walked to honor Michael Freeland. The JFRD engineer died while trying to rescue a person from a wrecked moving truck. On your sides, Haley Harrison was there. She spoke with family members who say they are overwhelmed with support. Father, we know that he's in your arms. God. After bowing their heads together in prayer, loved ones of Michael Freeland walked a mile under the lights along the St. John's River. He's a loving guy. Uh, always in a uh, positive attitude. Everybody loved him. The 36 year old was with Jacksonville Fire and Rescue for seven years. He died at the hospital Thursday after suffering a medical episode while working a crash. Obviously he's the first responder. He's here for the city. So hopefully the city comes out for him. But it wasn't just those who knew Freeland that put on their sneakers and boots Monday night. A 10 year old from Central Florida actually set up the run. And his last alarm was November 11th, 2021. <laughs> Zachariah Cartledge's organization, Running for Heroes, honors fallen first responders around the country with a one mile run. And it means so much to us because Michael is our hero. And to just know that people outside of just the Jacksonville community are coming together and celebrating his life and what he sacrificed just means so much to us. Freeland's family says the tribute was needed after a difficult past few days. We were devastated. But tonight we feel a lot of hope. We're happy. We're proud of him. And we just thank God for Michael. We thank God for his life and his legacy. In Riverside, I'm Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side.